performing Reckless Love, Tony Luca. Yeah. Woo! kind of mistake The kind of pain you just can't wash away Good, it's more than a desperate cry for help Way beyond any trouble you can cause yourself You and me gotta have it like a habit you just can't break No I said, oh, oh, oh we got a reckless love Keep coming undone together now Oh, oh, oh we got a reckless love It goes on forever, yeah We lie to each other, but we know it's true Gonna die under the covers lying next to you I said, oh, oh, oh we got a reckless love Ain't a bad dream, more like an overdose It ain't a death wish, yeah, but it's awfully close No, no, talking crazy again with your suicide tongue Hoping pray for the empty barrel of my gun You and me can't take it, can't shake it, but we can't let go No, no, I said, oh Love. Keep coming undone together now Oh, oh, oh we got a reckless love It goes on forever, yeah We lie to each other, but we know it's true Then we cling to each other till we're black and blue I said, oh, oh, oh we got a reckless love We cry to each other cause we can't get through Then we cling to each other till we're black and blue I said, oh, oh, oh we got a reckless love Oh, got a reckless love Oh, got a reckless love Hang with that us for a so second. Beautiful, Thank Tony. You. I love Milano. Milano loved it. Her heart was heart. Her heart was, heart was, heart was beating. Heart. She got her heart to beat. Nice. Got some emotion going nice. on here in the studio. Yeah. Uh, so nice to see you. I know you're busy. You're touring. Uh, you've been touring quite a bit. Last yeah, yeah. year, last year was mostly the road show uh, and writing, taking various writing trips to Nashville and here in LA and New yeah. York. Uh, but right now we're finally finishing up the record, which is. Super exciting and cool. Is this a little taste um, of what people can expect? This is, in fact, a little taste. Oh, yeah. we got a little taste, Milana. This is going to be a sample uh, size. <laughs> a sample size. Yeah, we. Uh, I wrote this with a good buddy of mine, uh, Josh Hogue, who is uh, a perennial all-star in the uh, Nashville singer-songwriter world, and uh, and our friend Neil Mason from a really rad band called Cadillac Black. Mm -hmm. uh, we got together, I guess, like last fall when I was in Nashville and wrote that one, and sort of inspired by the. Rihanna, Chris Brown. You were inspired by Rihanna and Chris Brown. I mean, who isn't? It's, just, it's, it's everywhere. It's we're, we're, what do you mean? What, what about that inspired you? Uh, well, I it's just like I, I, I'm always amazed at how you know popular culture and media and, yeah. and us. <laughs> you know, yeah. we all, and when it, you know, you get addicted to these little weird stories. That why? What is it? Our, our business that 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 they're going through this type of. You know, reckless love. Reckless love, you know. But at the same time, it's like yeah, we, we can't help but relate somehow when our lives mm -hmm. are a fraction of uh, <laughs> as, as, you know, exciting. Exposed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love how it's poppy, but it's like you have such a soulful vibe to you, like that gritty soul thing yeah. going on. Thank you. Uh, so where did that come from? 
Uh, the water in Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> You're just a little sick all the time? I'm just a little sick all the time. You know, a few really brutal winters as a kid that do irreparable harm to your respiratory. No, um, uh, yeah, just kind of growing up, literally, you know, in the suburbs of Motown, you realize that that is, it's just a part of, it's the, the soundtrack of, of that, that world mm -hmm. up there. Um, taking trips to Detroit as a kid, going down to the Freedom Festivals and Hart Plaza where the stuff we kind of take for granted now was still really going on even yeah. when I was a kid. It, it really brings some sophistication to that, that whole world and audience that came from The Voice, <laughs> I think. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know that's, that's, that's a, that is a world unto itself as well. Right, yeah, so what is that world like? Because I know it is actually um, premiering tonight, the new season. It is. Uh, so wh wh what um, a great connection that you came here. Yeah, the time, time it was a little, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Yeah, we actually, I got invited to the premiere. They had a screening of the, the premiere episode uh, at Chinese Theater this, this past week. And, uh, at, you know, having been on the show, I, I, I'm a fan of the show, you know, for sure. Yeah. But um, it, as being a, someone who's been through it, I, I, can, I can easily be extremely critical, you know, and, and kind of nitpick and be like, ah, oh, but honest to God, if season four is, you have to tune in. It's a lot of good talent. It's, I, I dare I say, like the best season yet, even just after the first episode. The, the vibe is so great, and, and, and just the, the, the coaches have a, a it's, just, it's different, it's different, but it's totally cool. Now, I haven't watched the show, I'm sorry, yet. <laughs> Yet. Yet. But um, so as someone who like has a background, like you, you were already a, a known person who came on the show. Mm -hmm. Do you think that worked to your advantage or was that weird for you at all? It's, it's, it's both an advantage and it's also humbling to get into a world like that. Even someone like myself who had accomplished as much as I had, I, you know, the, the voice represents a certain layer of the stratosphere, you know, of yeah. the atmosphere, where you, there might be fans out there that know who you are, but you're still not notable enough that these four coaches would know you or not know you. Even the girl, the woman who did who know you didn't with you know once you. Upon a time, yeah, uh, <laughs> exactly. Uh, so, you know, it, it, it's, it's having to admit that, okay, I've been successful, but I'm not that successful yet. <laughs> so you need a breakthrough <laughs> into like that mainstream. So then, yeah, then you have your your, your 15 juggernaut. minutes of, of all of that, and then and then the real work begins. Like if you win the thing, my God, then mm -hmm. it, that, that's a heavy burden. But if if you get as far as I did, which was the, to the end, I was a finalist. So now the real work begins. I've had this newfound exposure. What what are we going to do with it, and how are we going to capitalize on it? Mm -hmm. Isn't it usually the people that don't win? that actually end up doing really well. I, I always found that. I think the a, like if you were to look at the, the metrics, I think that's actually true, really. If you look at the data. Awesome, you congratulations. The metadata. Did you, did you win? No. I was a fun. Congratulations on not winning. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Not winning, so, not winning is, is awesome, yeah. everyone. Losing is the new winning. I, I like Tweet it. Tweet me on that. What do you think? Yeah, let's talk about <laughs> uh, let's, uh, the judges dynamic quickly, because since you saw a little preview, um, mm -hmm. would you have wanted Usher and Shakira to be the judge, and like, w you would have been happy with Christina. I'm off. I might have gone with Shakira just to be all the closer to her, because she's just so gorgeous and oh, <laughs> cute and fiery. Is. But no, musically and creatively, I, I, uh, there's really only one choice, and that would have been Ad Adam, regardless. It know. seems like you guys have a really good connection. I mean, you're under his label now, yeah, no. which is really awesome. Um, it's legit, man. Yeah. I mean, and, and I don't know how much of that is just because we, we get each other, because we kind of came up through the same ropes, you know, and played a lot of the same clubs, know a lot of the same people. Mm -hmm. and, um, but it's also just, you know, we, we, we were the, the awkward kid in junior high that p took music and then, you know, became front men of bands and you know it's it's there's an there's an automatic shorthand that yeah. kind of just quickly gets gets established and worked to great effect I think. How has on is he as someone who has a label? Uh, well he's ex extremely busy you know so yeah. as far as like yeah. the day-to-day -day stuff not not so much but in terms of uh, he, he's very smart he's an extremely smart businessman so if he's gonna do something like that his hands-on portion of the, the workload is, is finding the right people to, to do it, to do mm -hmm. the workload, to delegate to. Mm -hmm. And so he did. He picked a great, great group of people, and uh, they make all the day-to-day -day, you know, choices and decisions and things and uh, handling the logistics, the production of the record. Um, but certainly once we have the finished product and we start making some 
some marketing moves. He's gonna be. He's gonna have the moves he's like gonna, Jagger. He's gonna have like a, a Tony Luca blow <laughs> you know? He'll be tweeting the crap out of you. Yes, yes. <laughs> so we're gonna have we're gonna be prepared for that. Let's go back into the fan chat, Milana. Anything? Any shout outs to fans? Um, any songs you wish you hadn't performed on The Voice? Great question, yeah. Um, I, I was on the fence with In Your Eyes. Uh, one of the greatest, you know, I don't think there's a woman under 40, under 50, that doesn't have a connection to that song. Somehow, somewhere in their life, In Your Eyes moved them. Mm -hmm. And uh, to, to get a chance to sing that song, I was like, ah, oh, well, that'd be great. But then I just was like, why is this not part of my repertoire? I started thinking about it and realized, yeah, it's just, it's not, uh, um, it's, it's just not a song that I ever connected to vocally before, you know. Yeah. Um, but it, 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 it worked. It got us through that, that stage of the, the, uh, the competition. But uh, after that, you know, in came the one-dimensional comment from Christina, and that was our turning point. We just were like, oh, yeah, you know what? We need to dig a little deeper and do something a little cooler. Like 99 Problems. Like Britney Spears. What? And that. Everyone <laughs> loved that. He actually does some amazing covers. Even Ben Intruder. You did a Ben Intruder cover. I did a Ben Intruder cover. You are all up into the internet culture yeah, thing. Yeah. Working out a, a, a sweet brown and a... Are you gonna Kapuya. do that? <laughs> Are you gonna be doing some of those? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll Promotion of the new album. Come on, man. Yeah, you gotta we, get with it. Yeah, we may it. do a full. Uh, well, but just looking at the, the playlist, that that looks like a legitimate. If you want to see what the kids are doing, <laughs> the kids are new. That's where you go. Man. All right. Well, give it up for Tony Luca. Uh, You're thank awesome. You guys. He's at Luca Does on Twitter, and you can keep up with him TonyLuca.com. He's touring now, so go there for the dates, folks. My co-host has been the lovely and talented. Milana Veintraub. Veintraub, but it's fine. Veintraub. I always say Veintraub. Shira, we don't have to make it. <laughs> and she'll definitely go to prom with you and uh, fix everything that you wanted her to fix. What? What does that mean? Because you just fixed me. You made me a better person. Oh. At Min Milana on Twitter. Oh. Watch Live Proof Girls. YouTube.com slash Live Proof Girls. There's one guy cheering for me. Yep. We're back tomorrow hey. with the man, the myth, the machete, Danny Trejo. Trejo. He's amazing. Google him if, if you young folks don't know who he is. <laughs> Subscribe right now so you don't miss that. And of course, this will be available on our channel after we go offline yeah. today. So yeah. subscribe. Subscribe to him. Subscribe to her. Subscribe yeah. to us.